guys, it's Sheeran. I myself am simply just straight, but I am an ally. I do support anyone in their sexuality, who they identify as, who they love, whatever it may be. Because at the end of the day, we're all human and we should be able to do whatever we please and love whoever we love. So I am very excited to make this video. And in this video, I ask you guys, what are your coming out stories? Because I know it is very difficult and you might be very ashamed or embarrassed, but you should not be ashamed or embarrassed of who you are because at the end of the day, it is who you are and you're stuck with yourself for the rest of your life. So you might as well love that person and embrace that person, you know? These are some of the cutest stories I have run in the longest time and I'm just like wow I am so emo I love it so much anyways if you guys do want to see more videos like this definitely give us a thumbs up there are more videos on my channel like this not necessarily pride related but where I like share your own secrets and your own stories so feel free to check those out if you want to see more definitely subscribe for more duh and also follow my Instagram and my Twitter so you guys can be shout out of the week and have a chance to be in my videos but enough about that I'm very excited to get into your coming out stories and let's get right to those I had a crush on my best friend she's a girl a long time ago about two or three years and I didn't have the courage to tell her so I just kept quiet. One day I decided to tell her and turns out she had a crush on me too. And we've been dating for six months now. By the way I love you too. That is the cutest thing ever like they were in love with their best friend it turns out their best friend was in love with them too. So look you never know you know. Okay I am pansexual. So from what I know pansexual is when you like someone for their personality. Correct me if I'm wrong please. Enlighten all of us. Educate all of us. And I haven't come out to my parents yet but my bestie her name is Piper. When I told her she said it doesn't matter what gender I like just how accepting and loving they are. She also said that nothing can ever affect our friendship and she's literally the best friend ever. This is literally the best friend ever. This is goals. This is the cutest thing ever. I am so, so happy for you. Guys, honestly, like, they're your friends for a reason. Your friends love you and adore you. And if they don't, honestly, see it as a blessing that you lost this friend that wasn't really a friend. So, just food for thought. I told my mom I was pan and she kicked me out. I went to live with my uncle for three days until I get a call from my mom. Hey, honey, please come home. I'm proud of you. She fully supports and I've been with my girlfriend for three years now. One thing in common throughout the stories and it's that your parents don't react well when you first tell them and that's typical it's human nature it is totally normal but at the end of the day I do feel like most parents do come around because that's their child and they love their child and I'm not a parent but I know when I become a parent not gonna be anytime soon I can assure you that the only thing I want in life is for my child to be happy and if my child being gay bi straight pan transgender whatever it may be if that's what makes them happy that's what I want for my child as long as they're happy you know so must be nice to be in love. I can't relate. This isn't my story, but I had this best friend named Cornell and he came out as gay and a lot of people dissed him for that and he was the only gay kid in school so everyone made fun of him and I felt bad. Everyone called him names and just wasn't nice and I didn't want him to be alone. So I said I was gay too, but I'm not really and we both got dissed together, but I didn't really care because I helped my best friend out a lot. I love you so much too. This is the cutest, sweetest story ever. Do I agree with it? Not necessarily because you're lying about your sexuality, but, 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 but it was done with good intentions. I know kids can be very, very cool. I know school is not easy. For some reason, it's always a bad thing to be different. I'm here to tell you that it's not. It's actually probably one of the best things ever because we're not all the same. We all have different stories, different lives, different like just ways of thinking and being. So either way, what you did for your friend is amazing. And honestly, I'm glad you did that because that probably meant a lot to your friend. And here's another thing I do want to mention. If you are going through the struggles of like not knowing to come out or how to come out or being scared that you're going to be seen as being different. Most kids that bully you, torture you, make fun of you, it's because you have something that they don't and whether it's because maybe your bully is afraid of coming out and they're jealous that you were able to come out or maybe it's just simply because your bully doesn't have the courage to do what you did. I think of it that way and if that helps you, so be it. Hopefully that gives you peace of mind, but I don't know. My best coming out story was when I was born. Honestly, I had to include that only because it was so, so funny. Same. When I came out to my dying aunt, she said, finally, you're gonna love lesbian sex. It was super funny. I love you so much too. This was such a funny story until you said dying aunt. I'm very, very sorry. May she rest in peace. She's awesome for saying that. Coolest aunt ever. Thumbs up if aunts are always the coolest. And if they're not, still thumbs up. Yeah. Subscribe if you have a cool aunt. Subscribe if you don't. That's fine too. Well, I came out, I'm flamboyantly gay, by the way, to my grandmother with a cake. It said, guess who isn't straight? She looked me in the eye and said, how did you know? Oh my God. Turns out my grandmother is asexual. P.S. I love you too. So for those of you that don't know, asexual is when you are not sexually attracted to something. Please correct me again if I'm wrong. Go ahead and comment down. Honestly, define any label that you might know because I still do want to be educated in this completely myself and someone else out there might want to know what they are or how they feel or might want to know what the term may be. So either way, this is awesome because your grandma's like, yo, grandma, it's me. Your grandma's like, no, it's me. Damn grandma. I told my mom I was bi while I was on the toilet. Bruh. Guess two things were coming out. 
out. <laughs> that was a really bad and disgusting joke. So one of my closest friends told me she was lesbian. At the time, I was an innocent human being and I had no idea what that meant. I thought it was a sickness or something. I went, oh my god, Leah, I'm so sorry. She gave me the weirdest look and I thought I said something wrong. She told me afterwards and we're still friends. I love you too. See, this is great. I don't think my best friend could ever say something to me where I would judge her and be like, oh my god, like what is wrong with you? Like, that's my friend. I love her. I'm here to support her. And it's great that you guys' friends are so supportive. Again, if you're scared, your friends are honestly probably just as supportive. You never know. I came out after a bunch of my friends came out. It turns out five of my ten close friends are also LGBTQ+, and together we started the Underground Pride Society of my, parentheses, Catholic school. I am so excited about this because I know it is very hard when it comes to the topic of religion. And I know that's where it gets iffy, especially with parents and grandparents, Catholic schools, private schools, all that, whatever it may be. And this just made me so happy because it is even harder to feel like you belong in those places that are so judgy like that, for example. So it's awesome that you guys bonded together and made like a safe space for you. I definitely recommend that. If you are scared, if you feel embarrassed, ashamed, join a group. You know, it could be online, it could be in person, it could be like an anonymous thing, but there are people out there that are like you and can help you grow through this and accept you as who you are and, you know, just help you really just learn and feel better about yourself. And I think that is so awesome. And this just made me so, so happy. In third grade, I just had this weird feeling in my stomach while I was hanging out with girls. In eighth grade, I had this friend, Jessie, and I always thought that she was cute. One day we were playing a truth or dare and my best male friend dared me to kiss her. Now we are dating and I hope that one day I could marry her. Must be nice. <laughs> so cute. I wish I could play truth or dare with someone and have them fall in love with me. Hmm. I told my stepdad that I like guys and girls and he was in the middle of eating a hot dog and he threw the hot dog at me with mustard and ketchup and onions on it. Then I threw it back at him and he said he was sorry and that he supports me. So I feel like every parent is going to go through the oh my god and they're going to like panic and overreact face and they'll be like, you know what? I support you. Like, you're my kid. I love you. This was just so funny because your dad literally threw a hot dog at you and you just threw it back at him without hesitation. Me. <laughs> so I met this really pretty girl on Tinder. She was lesbian and so was I. We started dating and we decided to meet up for a date. But on the day of the date, something came up for both of us so we both had to cancel. I had to go to a family reunion and I saw her. Turns out I've been dating my aunt for two months. Maybe this aunt is a little too cool. Actually, this isn't cool at all because you're kind of dating your family. So is this an aunt you've never met? Yikes. This was my favorite favorite one. It says, it doesn't matter who you like, just know Joey's. Amen. If you don't know what a Joey is, you got a lot to catch up on. That is the one person we stay away from. Bless. I wrote down that I liked girls on a piece of paper and gave it to my mom. All she did was write, I don't care who you love as long as you're happy. Yeah, that's it. No drama, no hate, just love. As it should be. Why does it matter who I love? Why does it matter who I want to be with? Why does it matter who my best friend wants to be with? Honestly, it's not my life. It's your life. Whatever makes you happy, so be it. As long as you're happy and not harming anyone. Life is great, you know? So this one is, I love you so much because that's what you started with. It says, my story is that I had a crush on this like really popular girl in my old primary school and she used to hate me or so I thought. When I went up to senior school, I told my mom I was bi and she said she knew all along since preschool. The day after I came out, my crush since primary school asked me out and we've been dating for five months. That is so cute. Oh, I'm gonna cry. The last one and this one honestly like warmed my heart. These stories are just so inspiring and they're so cute and I I hope that these can also inspire you guys or even if this isn't your pride month at least like cheer you up and make you happy because I think these are just so cute you know anyways this one says when I was 20 I was traveling in the car with my mom and my sister I had just finished watching a list of celebrities that had came out that year I then finally said if they can do it so can I I took a deep breath and just started actually crying my mom and sister were shocked to see me start crying my mom asked what's wrong and I told my mom I'm bi she accepted me with open arms my sister was accepting too but had questions finally went to my grandparents house mind you my grandparents are Christians and I never thought that they would accept me. Finally, I told them and they were even more accepting than my mom. They hugged me and told me they were proud of me. That is the cutest, sweetest thing ever and that's just wow. My heart is so warm. Pride month is such a great month. This is such a great time to celebrate and just be proud of who you are and just be proud of your sexuality and your identity and this is great. I love this because it's all about celebrating being born this way. Shout out to Lady Gaga. Thank you. Anyways, if you guys do have your own coming out stories, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Of course, not every coming out story is the greatest, sweetest thing ever but you know we got to do it one way or another so if you have come out or if you're thinking of coming out I support you 110% you know I'm so proud of you this is your time you deserve to be happy you got this I'm just so so happy anyways if you guys enjoyed this give us a thumbs up of course subscribe for more shout out the week goes to Clementina and you are Clementina Kavik hope I didn't say that wrong correct me if I'm wrong on Instagram thank you so much if you want to be shout out of the week just follow me on Instagram anyways tell me guys how you feel about this little setup we got a ring light now like we can move around now all that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye.